college live event for motor vehicle. Uh, if you're attending, I can see that we've got a couple of attendees. There's a message bar that you can message uh, the staff to, with any questions that you've got during this little PowerPoint and presentation. And also, if you want to put your phone number in there, we'll record your phone number privately and we can call back and answer any other questions that you've got. But if you type questions into there, the staff that will actually answer your questions as we go along. OK. So the presentation tonight <coughs> is going to tell you about the motor vehicle trade. Hopefully you've joined the right live event and you want to be a motor vehicle engineer. The motor vehicle industry is extremely well paid at the moment. Uh, jobs start at around about £15,000. Uh, they can go to £23,000, £24,000 for a service technician uh, and diagnostic technicians can earn anything up to £34,000. All the information on the PowerPoint that you'll see tonight is being gained from uh, the government websites. Uh, but I can tell you that in this region, uh, motor vehicle technician will earn around about £34,000. If you want to get into heavy goods vehicles, you can almost double that with uh, heavy goods wages looking at around about £55,000. Uh, there's a lot of shift work and things that you've got to do as well, but <clears throat> it's well worth it for all the extra cash. So this slide shows us that there's a national skills shortage. There's a lot more jobs out there. Well, actually, this this one tells us that there's uh, it shows us the average earnings of around about £27,000 to £28,000 in the UK and also tells us about the percentage of uh, female workers and let's just go back a we have an 8% or 9% uh, average of female workers in in motor vehicle industry i would i would think that that would be a lot a bit higher than that now as well because uh, this uh, is data from the previous year uh, you can see that most of the the trade is full time uh, there's a few self-employed as well. These are the people who are going to be owning their own garages. So like it says, the uh, there's an above average uh, pay of £27,000. And in this region, the average pay is around about, I think it's £19,000. And that's because of the likes of Caterpillar and companies like that, who are huge employers, who bring the average up. If you go down the road to Stockton and Middlesbrough, you'll find that the average is quite a bit less. It's around about £17,000. So this slide again tells us about <coughs> the, the need for skills in the industry and the amount of people who are skilled. And you can see that this on the graph has been falling from year after year after year, and it's reached an all-time low in 2020. So in this year, the skills are lower than ever in the industry. And what that means for us is that the motor vehicle industry is uh, the, the wages are going up because we're trying to entice people into the industry. And also it means that there's a lot of work out there. So there's lots of jobs. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. There's a national shortage of vehicle technicians. There's more jobs available than people who are trained. And with the advance in technology in motor vehicles over the last couple of years, with the electrical and hybrid vehicles, there's a huge skills shortage of staff, and that's something that A Storm College has been trying to address. So it's an excellent job in the motor trade. You never know what you're going to end up working on. Uh, you can see we've got a collection of uh, race cars. Uh, all sort of different eras and also we've got some classic cars there and we've got a beautiful Sierra Cosworth there on the end which is a rally car. These are all cars that uh, the team at uh, the motor vehicle work on and own. Uh, the Porsche Turbo in the centre is one that we race. We take students to race tracks and we try to get them involved 
and try to get them uh, look at different avenues of what where they're going to work when they actually become uh, qualified as technicians. So you might end up being a car restorer, you might end up working in more sports. Also, it's not just about cars. Again, people think that the motor vehicle trade is just, a, you know, it's just about working on cars, but uh, all the staff at the uh, East Durham Technical Academy have came out of industry, and these are some of the vehicles that we've also worked on, classic wagons, uh, normal haulage company wrap wagons, buses, car transporters, uh, even tank transporters. And you never know where it's going to lead to. You might even end up working in, in off-road vehicles and likes of the earth movers and these huge pieces of equipment. It also, uh, trains, trains run with the same engines and the same brake systems and suspension systems that the wagons do. So if you're qualified to work on, on the wagons and, and the trucks and the air systems, you can generally move across in other industries as well, like working on trains or working on plant vehicles. So our facilities then, the course itself is actually run at the Technical Academy, which is separate from the main college. It's got a superb, uh, fully equipped workshop. We've also got canteen on site. We've got an LRC, a learning resource centre, so like a library, which, which mm -hmm. is like got an internet cafe in it as well. So there's computers available for the students to, in downtime. We've got a, a, a little mini gym that you can use that's free of charge. And we've got some recreation, table tennis, snooker and stuff like that, or pool tables and things like that. All right, so the programmes that we actually run, we run two sort of uh, routes into industry. We run a, a level one programme, which is for technicians who want to become diagnostic technicians, who want to work in a dealership, who want to be involved in uh, working on possibly one make of car like a VW or a Porsche, or, or, you know, Ford or stuff like that. I think in Peter Lee, we have a Vauxhall dealership. We have a Seat dealership down the road. OK, so we've got all that. But then also we've got uh, the fast fit industry. The fast fit industry is the likes of quick fit, national tyres. Sometimes it's tyre fitting, sometimes it's just service and repair, MOT base, things like that. We've also, that's another route into industry as well. We've also just recently started the uh, the body met, which is a level three, so you've got to work towards that. But because body shops where cars get body and paint repaired, because cars are so complicated these days, and they need people to take the engines out so that the panel beaters and the painters can come along and paint the inside of them and do the repairs and weld new chassis legs on, because the cars are so complicated, what the finding is that they need a technician who can remove and refit engines and reset the electronics. So that's our new body uh, body met course that we're actually running as well. Just recently, the college has managed to secure a £300,000 grant, uh, which has allowed us to buy uh, electrical training rigs and hybrid training rigs so that we can teach people to become proficient on electrical vehicles. Uh, we'll be teaching that the level threes in the future, well, in the not too, well, actually at the moment, you need to have special qualification to be able to work on electrical vehicles because of the high voltage that's involved with them. So obviously there's, there's a, a danger of electrocution if you're not fully trained. So you've got to be qualified to work on electrical vehicles. And the East Durham College was looking forward to the future and we're looking at being able to deliver these programmes in the next year or two. We do have our own Facebook pages where you can find uh, additional information. Uh, we have a Technical Academy Facebook page and we also have an East Durham College Motor Vehicle page. The Motor Vehicle page is more of a group and people join it when, when they're a student at the, at the college. I'm sure you can still be part of that if you want to be part of the East Durham Motor Vehicle page. You can like us on Facebook. And also we'll have information in there for people who want to actually enroll on courses. So we'll try and put some information up on the Technical Academy Facebook page 
in the coming days. So work activities as a motor vehicle technician, you're looking at uh, work including finding faults with vehicles, fault finding. Uh, you've got to have uh, skills to be able to talk to customers and to tell the customers what repair needs they've got and give them advice. You've also got to be able to do a little bit of maths and English. You know, you've got to be able to work out estimates and how much things are going to cost for jobs. Uh, you'll be carrying out repairs and replacing damaged components. Uh, you'll be road testing the vehicles, which is always the, the favourite part of the technician. We get to drive a lot of beautiful cars that we sometimes couldn't afford ourselves. Fitting and servicing is the main sort of amount of work that any technician is going to do. Uh, servicing vehicles and uh, this includes doing steam, suspension, brakes, clutches and the like. Also, you might get into uh, ICE, which is in-car entertainment. So stereos and video recorders, DVDs, players and things like that, or MP4 players as they'll be now. Uh, but setting up in-car entertainment and uh, installing it in vehicles. Also, we carry out the standard service checks and MOT work. So the courses themselves then, like we've said, there's two ways to become motor vehicle technicians. So if you're just leaving school, these are the ideal courses to start from. Basically, the first one, the level one, level one course requires maths and English at a pass. Uh, we also have a level one motor vehicle introduction course, which leads on to the fast fit industry and there's no academic requirements for that so you can come to East Durham College regardless of what calls you get from your uh, grades that are obviously going to be estimated this year but uh, we also uh, cater highly for students with SEN needs or uh, educational healthcare plans uh, if that's the case we like to try and put things in place before the beginning of the year so if you have special educational needs or if you have health problems which may require a bit of us a bit of uh, additional support uh, we like you to contact us and tell us about them there is there is a, a section in this uh, where you can actually ask questions i don't know if any of you have asked any questions but the staff available to answer questions if you have special educational needs or an health educational health care plan and you'd like to speak to us about those uh, I'd like you to uh, put your uh, contact number in the questions or contact the college uh, in the normal ways we'll come to that in a moment uh, if you put a telephone number in them questions and answers we'll be able to get back to you and have a, an interview and a, a telephone conversation about any requirements that you've got and that's very important uh, the more information we can gain to support you, the better the success the students will get. So both programmes require maths and English. The level one programme, it says there that you've got to have maths and English to get on that programme. If you just missed out on your maths or just missed out on your English, but you've got decent engineering quals or you've got practical skills, you've got qualifications that you can prove that you've got good practical skills, we will discuss what group you'll go into. OK, so it's not just a case of cut and dry. That's what you need. That's what you've got. And that's what you're getting. We will speak to people and we will discuss their needs. We want happy students on the right courses. All right. But if you don't have your maths and English, you are required to do them. So if you leave school without maths and English, you will do maths and English at the college. Uh, it's needed to get on to the higher level courses anyway, so you've, you've got to have a reasonable amount of English level and skills to do the other courses as well. Not necessarily grade four, but it's got to be at a certain level so we can allow you to progress. It wouldn't be fair of us to put you into industry without the right skills, and that's why the maths and English is taught. Maths and English is taught on every single programme in the college. So if you don't have a level four, it doesn't matter what you're doing, You've got to get it. 
OK. Again, any questions, just type them in at the answer in, question and answer and leave a phone number so we can contact you as well. I see that we've just got a new attendee there. Uh, also, there's benefits to coming to the college. When you start and you get enrolled, you get your ID. Your ID is also a bus pass. You can use any Arriva bus to get to college and to get home free of charge. If you live outside the Arriva bus routes and you use other vehicle or other transport, the college will discuss uh, reimbursing your costs. All right, you might not get 100%, but you'll get some costs reimbursed. Also, the college runs bursaries or cash reward schemes. There's a cash reward scheme for attendance. If you've got excellent attendance twice a year, they check your attendance and you get £50. So it's £100 a year for having good attendance. I think that requires over 95 or 98%. I'm not 100% sure on that, but if you've got questions about it, just type them in and we can answer or we can get back to you later. Uh, also, there's a college bursary for attendance for students coming from uh, households that are claiming income, income support of some description or benefits of some description. So if you have, uh, if you if you come from a house that claims benefits, there's a bursary to help you come to college and also study. And that's a weekly bursary. It's also paid on uh, behaviour and attendance. So this is the important screen then. If you want more information, there's a telephone number on there. Uh, you can contact student services. You can leave your phone number with student services and, and we'll give you a call back from the motor vehicle section. There's also uh, an email address, inquiries at East Durham. But the one at the bottom is really the most important one. If you think motor vehicle is for you, then that one at the bottom, eastdurhamac.uk, applications yep you can click you can uh, click on that and you can actually fill out an application form to be a student in the motor vehicle section for next year you've got to pick the course so if you're not sure about the course that you need to be on obviously you can't start right in level three we need to have uh, previous experience and things like that to start on level three or level two uh, or age as well if you're an uh, an older student, sometimes we can start on a level two if it's suitable. But generally speaking, school leavers start on a level one, and it's either the uh, maintenance and repair or the introduction to motor vehicle. And you'll find them on that website. Fill out the application form and you'll get a letter telling you to start in September. Uh, like I said, if you have any uh, educational needs or any uh, health problems, uh, in the past we've worked with a lot of autistic students, we work with uh, students with a uh, hearing impairment and such, and we need to make allowances for them and we need to make provision for them. It's all about making provision. So if there's any issues and you'd like to contact us privately, again, you can leave your phone number on the question and answer uh, at the side of the screen, if you click on that and just put your phone number in, we'll get back to you. Or alternatively, you can phone student services or inquiries at eastzone.ac.uk. This uh, presentation is also recorded, so if you want to watch the presentation again, you can click on the link again and it should uh, take you back to the presentation again and show you the exact presentation all over again. But obviously you won't be able to interact with it. All right, so enrolment now online at EDC Motor Vehicle. Apply now. OK, and that brings me to the end of the presentation. Thank you for your time. The Motor Vehicle, I've got a short video here that will show you some of the students that we've had at Motor Vehicle over the last year and also how much they've enjoyed it.
the BM Mechanic. I decided to become an uh, East Down College because I have a massive passion for vehicles. At East Down College, the more vehicle points is really unique. We cover loads of different things like stripping down engines, servicing cars. I've learned everything I need to know about bikes, cars, and any more vehicles. I've always had an interest in cars, but I've learned so much more on how they work since I started. More vehicles courses at East Down College consist of two different routes to the industry. There's a course to get you into the faster industry, and then there's the higher level course to be more what we call the maintenance and repair technician. We work with loads of different kinds. Also by the college. The college has a workshop at the technical company. And it's just like working with the company. The staff of the college is really involved with doing the health. I feel like I'm getting proper hands on the But once I pass the course, I'll recommend it. We try to learn students at a wide variety of experience, so we take them to watch MOT being carried out. We took them to the office for the international show to get to see the live action of the car car drive and things like that. We also take them go kart racing, we have our own go karts, but in here it makes me feel more ready for a career. I feel like I've learned so much. People think that motor vehicles just work in the garage, but it isn't. There's a lot of different opportunities, there are a lot of different routes to a career. And it's a career in the industry that we're trying to give them, not a job. I want to go in the Navy to be a submarine technical engineer. I would like to own my own garage. I don't know what I want to do, I know where I want to start. Thanks very much. So if there's anything else that you need to know, other links to East Durham College or leave your phone number in the comments. Cheers. Good luck. I hope to see you in September.